Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about all of the alkaline vegan milk options. So as we know, milk comes from a cow traditionally and that is very mucus forming. And as Dr. Sandy says, mucus is the root cause of all disease. So because we have become accustomed to using milk for baking, for cooking, for adding to things like cereal, adding to smoothies, we have some amazing ways to still enjoy milk on an alkaline vegan diet or just on a plant-based diet where you want to include as much alkaline vegan foods as possible. So when we refer to Dr. Sadie's nutritional guide, which outlines all of the alkaline vegan foods that he approved, there are the following nuts and seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, Brazil nuts, and then there's also sesame seeds. I do not have sesame seeds with me here because I just can't imagine making sesame seed milk. But if you've made sesame seed milk and you loved it, definitely leave your experience in the comments below. Another item on the list is coconut, specifically the soft jelly coconut meat in a ripe coconut. So I'm going to show you how to make alkaline vegan milks with each of these ingredients. And we're also going to be using some dates to sweeten them. You can also use agape nectar or date sugar. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to do a taste test of all of the nut milks that I make and let you know how I like them. I've already talked about walnut milk in a previous video, but I have actually never made or tried Brazil nut milk. So I will be sharing my thoughts with you on that live in this video as well as the others and of course the recipes. So if you haven't joined the family already, definitely take a minute to hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you're excited to see how I make all of these nut milks, definitely go ahead and press the like button and let's get started. The first step in making any nut milk is to soak the nuts. This breaks down phytic acid which impairs the body from absorbing key minerals and it neutralizes enzyme inhibitors allowing for proper digestion. I suggest soaking the nuts in distilled or spring water for 8 hours with a little bit of sea salt. I also soak my dates in water for about 15 to 30 minutes just to soften them up. For our walnut milk, we're going to use three and a half cups of spring water, one cup of walnuts, and two to three pitted dates. Blend in a high speed mixer until smooth, and then you can use either a stainless steel strainer or a cheesecloth to remove the pulp from the milk. My personal preference is a stainless steel strainer. It's just easier for cleanup. However, I am going to use both in this video and show you the results with each product. So you'll just want to sift through the pulp with a spoon and this is what the pulp will look like. You can then press through the pulp to remove more of the liquid or you can just throw it away. You can also save it to make cookies or add to baking. The Brazil nut milk recipe is very similar to the walnut milk. Of course, we're going to start by draining the water off of the Brazil nuts. Then we're going to add three cups of spring water to the blender, one cup of Brazil nuts, and three dates. Blend until smooth and then strain out the pulp. Hemp seeds also contain phytic acid, so they should be soaked for about two hours prior to use. For this recipe, we're going to use four cups of spring water, a half cup of hemp seeds, and four dates. I'm going to strain the hemp milk with cheesecloth, so I'm using a bowl and a rubber band just to hold the cheesecloth down. I'm not a pro at this yet. And then I'm just gonna pour the hemp milk over the cheesecloth. It actually did a really good job containing the pulp.
And last but not least is the nut that required the most elbow grease and that is the coconut. This is what Dr. Sabi means by the jelly coconut meat. It's very soft and pliable and sometimes it can be even softer than this and more translucent. Coconut meat can be very firm and hard if it's not ripe and ready to be eaten. I got about four to six ounces of fresh coconut meat out of this young coconut. I had already consumed the water. Normally I would say use the coconut water that comes in the coconut. However, I'm going to use spring water and I'm using about one and a half cups of spring water and two dates mixed with the four to six ounces of fresh coconut. There are some recipes that use dried coconut to make coconut milk, however I prefer fresh or frozen. Alright, this is your complete guide of alkaline vegan milks. From the right, I have coconut milk, walnut milk, Brazil nut milk, and hemp seed milk. I'm excited to try all of these. Of course, I've tried some of them before. I made coconut milk mixed with another nut in the past, but I think this is my first time just making coconut milk on its own. So, here's the final taste. So yummy. <laughs> you definitely feel the fat. I think this is more like a full fat coconut milk, but the two dates for this size make it amazing and sweet. It also makes the color more caramel instead of white. But this is the walnut milk. Cheers. This tastes amazing. It's not that sweet, but it's just creamy and smooth. I just put two dates in here. If you want it to be a little bit more sweet, I would go with three, but three would make it just right for sweetness. But honestly, this is perfect for me. I can just throw this in a smoothie. You don't need it to be extra sweet if you're just gonna use it in a smoothie or something like that. So this is perfect and it's so mild. I just love that because the taste of walnuts on their own is not mild, it's kind of abrasive. <laughs> I'm still a little surprised with this walnut milk and it's really becoming one of my favorite nut milks of all time. So this is my first time trying Brazil nut milk. Let's see. This is one that you might want to strain three times. I strained it twice, but I can still see some of the pulp on the top. But here's the taste. Mmm. I like it. I put three dates in here. So it has a nice sweetness to it and it's still a little gritty from the Brazil nut so I would probably want to strain this if I were to be drinking it just on its own. But again, I normally add nut milks to smoothies or into something that I'm baking. I don't normally just drink them on their own so a little bit of extra pulp in there is not going to bother me. And now for the hemp milk. This one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's already about this much. You can tell that the seeds are settling down here, so it could have been strained a second time. I only strained this once with the cheesecloth, and I was kind of impressed on how much the cheesecloth got out. But again, I don't mind extra seeds in there because again, I would eat all of these nuts on their own, so I don't mind it being inside the milk. I put four dates in here because hemp milk has not been my favorite in the past. Hold on, I feel like I have hemp seed on my lip. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Okay, so yeah, hemp milk has not been my favorite in the past. It's kind of got like a bittery taste to it, but because of the four dates, this is actually my favorite of all the hemp milks that I've made. Usually I only put two to three dates, so I think it really depends on how much dates you put in. This probably is one flavor-wise that you would want to strain a couple of times because I'm assuming that the more hemp seed pulp that is in there, the more bitter the taste may be. But it's actually pretty mild and sweet today, so again, definitely go with four dates. And that is it. Again, your complete guide on alkaline vegan nut milks. These can be used in a variety of ways. I would definitely love to have this in a smoothie, but I could also see this poured over some cereal. You can use, see. This is probably the only alkaline vegan cereal out there. Maybe not the only one, but this is Kamut Puffs. 
It basically puffs a whole grain kamut. And if you wanted to drizzle some agave nectar on this, maybe put some strawberries or some blueberries or whatever kind of berries on top, and then pour over some of this yummy coconut milk, it would be amazing. Of course, you can use any of these milks in baking. The Brazil nut milk is one that you probably don't need to use a lot of just because Brazil nuts are power packed of nuts. I think one Brazil nut on its own has all the selenium that you need for the day. But yes, yeah, smoothies, baking, just drinking it on its own, you know, mixing in some sea moss and just having a nice sea moss latte. Of course, if you guys missed it, you can check out my Alkaline Vegan Superfood Lattes video. Of course, you can use any of these milks in those superfood lattes. When it comes to storing these, of course, you definitely want to store them in the refrigerator. I would normally try to drink them within a week, preferably for days. It doesn't have any preservatives in it. So nut milk is one of those things that can spoil quickly. So you definitely want to make sure that you are using it on a daily basis, not just putting it in your refrigerator and coming back to it seven days later and trying to smell it. And you definitely want to drink it as soon as possible. <sighs> I'm really excited about this coconut milk. But anyway, thank you guys. So much for watching. If you have any questions about these nut milks or the recipes, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you have a special nut milk recipe that is alkaline vegan that I didn't share, if you have a variation to what I share, leave that in the comments below as well. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below and then click the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I make a future video. It was fun hanging out with you guys today. Be whole and be well, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>